sorry i'm so sorry so here if you ask any kind of a geometrical stuff so these are to okay. very very important so uh, we are going to cover not the dynamo training uh, we are going to cover all these concepts so the first thing is okay. like algorithms so visual programming requires you to think in terms of creating algorithms what do you mean by algorithm that we will that we will see that in the training part okay so programming okay. logic for every programmer from today onwards like you are not you are not a, a modeler you are not a coordinator you are not a manager your vision should be in terms of like a a, a developer a developer has a really really good vision they they they, they would have to they would have to log uh, they, just give me a second why the meeting id is invalid maybe he is using something wrong what is this ask him to use this victim avale sanvil mundu victim is it supposed to work no chik chik okay i'm so sorry so uh, uh the programming log you need to understand the programming logic and the concepts of a data types variables and input and output you know this concept itself it will take almost like 8 to 10 hours to complete this entire training for the first data types the three days concept it's purely into the data types if you are good at data types you know uh you will build a, a different i mean you you will get a, a different kind of a uh, you know the energy levels you you will seriously you will be very very confident on what you are trying to play with so every element you supposed to see in a perspective in the data types the first three days training it's going to be on the data types guys okay so the it's it's very very important and when it comes to the variable so the data types will be stored somewhere the data should be stored somewhere to recall the same again and again and again okay for that sake the variables there are input variables there are output variables there are user defined variables there are predefined variables so there are different kind of a variables you, you do have and uh, implementations also we have a many so you will be learning everything in this training program so input and output are this is the very very worst thing and this is a very very happiest thing if you able to understand the input you can rock the show if you don't understand the input you will completely drown into the disaster uh, stuff you understand so input and outputs are very very important while you playing with a visual programming while you playing with a visual programming and you know there are beautiful tips that i'm going to teach you to make you understand how you can able to understand any kind of uh i mean like any kind of an input variables and you can uh, you can predict what it is exactly going to be uh, giving you as output if you are good at these four concepts perfect i mean you will be getting uh, this entire idea also in just matter of like a 6 to 7 days 6 to it will take 6 to 7 days to finish this concept seriously okay because you know i hope uh, you you've been seen like some sort of a videos from different different like a third party i mean like you know from learning sources like udemy or linkedin so they saying learn dynamo in just 3 hours seriously i don't understand for one single concept i take 2 to 3 hours how can you learn this entire uh, uh, this training in just matter of uh, this 3 hours i do uh, seriously i will really shock so at the time of uh, like just one year ago we used to one year like not even like one year 6 months ago Uh, we used to provide the training for like 20 hours this entire dynamo 20 hours still i used to feel that that's not sufficient to be handled and uh, you know we used to uh, like finish that as, as quickly as possible but later on when we are getting the requests from the clients that we need so and so candidate but the person who been trained from bimara like they are not sufficient with their knowledge then we started adding more concepts you know 
it was like anything the 20 hours training been into the 40 hours now at the time of we trained the pe people on the 20 hours I, we went we sent a lot of people to the companies but now it's a 40 hours you know and you will be learning each and everything in a very 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 detail okay and you will not get a kind of a trainer like me at any cost so i will not act like a trainer and uh, you you are not uh, you are not a students as well you are like my uh, brothers completely okay so uh, feel free when you are in the training period and i want you to be very very active so generally when you are uh, learning with something you know you would have a like some sort of a stuff like are uh, how can i ask this he is a trainer he has a very experience if he scolds in front of everyone nothing whatever the question you asked i'll i'll never laugh into it i'll i i do i do maintain that dignity with everyone whether you are a fresher uh, in the bim or you, are, you have a 10 years of experience i do treat everyone as like the same okay so once you get into this you know uh, you will be very very good at uh, uh, start at, start understanding the scripts first so then once you done with this the rest of the components components are the building blocks so the block we generally called as a nodes of a visual programming and can include blocks that represent functions objects and other elements functions in the sense the way you write the formulas or the way you write the logic or whatever object in the sense if it is an element that going to, we will be calling them as an object if there is a data which you are trying to extract let's say parameter values you have a 500 elements so every in 500 elements you have a different different parameter values assigned to it now you want to filter the elements where the x parameter value been assigned to it for example you have a 500 let me show you okay so what you're going to learn in this training so i'm going to show you a, a just like a, a brief picture mechanical coding so note down your questions if you have any i'm gonna clear everything okay don't hesitate to ask seriously okay if you stop if you feel scared to ask you know you you will not be a you will not be a right person for this i mean for my training especially you should open your mouth okay so uh, comments let's say let's say mark let's say this is a c building let's a c building so i have uh, some other elements like uh comments like a b building these are b building columns and these are let's say a building comments okay now i want to filter only the elements which contains the parameter value a how to do that so filtering concept so here each and every element which is going to be act like an object even the stories that i have kept somewhere this is also will be considered it as an object okay so where is this getting from okay so how does like how do we play with all this how do i remember all this stuff yesterday somebody someone asked me uh in in the webinar you are an expert you have a uh, three years of experience or uh, six months of experience so you know from based on my six years of experience i'm not telling all this stuff if you understand the logic the logic which makes sense more than an experienced candidate if you don't know the logic you can't argue with an experienced candidate if you are good at logic you can argue with anyone for example the same logic if you are a modeler and you are very very poor in the designing you can't talk to an engineer or you can't uh, like argue with your coordinator if you are a modeler with the design knowledge you can argue with an engineer and you can get that the model done you can check with the coordinator and you can help the coordinator as well De without design there is no modeling it's useless modeling seriously so you're just like a toy what you have an instructions do you understand so without the designing where there is a where there is no modeling like if you are not good at logic it's you will you will never be a, a developer so i'm going to teach you some sort of like how to get the logics there are some sort of a tools will will which help you to understand even you know i'm a very short term a memory candidate seriously i'm not joking so sometimes uh, uh, when i am like uh, when i'm taking decisions you know sometimes i do deviate the concept and the students help me out to sir you for, you you left that concept there okay this is how it is but why because if you have a question it's my responsibility to clear that questions from your mind 
otherwise you you keep on the same you keep on carrying the same doubt till the end of the training and you don't focus on the training like what i've been what i'm teaching you clear guys so uh first i'll clear your doubts then i'll get into the training we have a two hours of training every day and this is not it's not completely two hours is not mine but the first 15 minutes in the last 15 minutes it's your time harass me like anything no if it is if that if that 15 minutes 30 minutes is not sufficient to harass me join 10 minutes before the actual time and then clear your doubts is it clear everyone is it clear yes, sir, sir. Hmm? sir can yeah. i ask you something yeah moment tell me yeah uh, sir actually you know uh, i am like as you know that i i am working uh, so the thing is i have so many ideas to implement in the revit model because mm -hmm. uh, i want so many shortcuts because i have i have already tried so many things to do it with the with the help of the shared parameter or project parameter i couldn't do that so what i want to ask is uh, when you are teaching you know uh, after how many days i can start uh, working on those things on, on those apps which i wanted to uh, like develop months? it can i say 6 months hmm? do you agree if i say 6 months do you happy if i no, say no sir with, with no, no the the kind of explanation that. what i am what i am getting from you is like uh, uh, i can do it i think i mean before uh, like within a month i can start working on it on those See, things i am promising you everyone sir to be frank okay this has been proved uh, from the fourth day onwards you will be start writing your own scripts from the fourth day onwards you know there is a very very important concept if i finish that concept it will take 3 days the same concept only one concept it will take 3 days to finish so once i finish that concept you will be able to see everything which is very easy to fetch you understand you can start assigning the okay. values from different different places and you will be start playing with from the fourth day okay on the fifth even day I, i'll even even yes sir even i can work on the schedules also sir i can play with the schedule also after the fourth day seriously i'm not joking okay. this i'm not i'm not lying for any admission sake okay this has been proved like with all of the students so until unless i'm very confident on this kind of a stuff i don't give any false commitments fourth day you will be definitely start playing with export i mean if i take the same concept within a 15 minutes you'll be very you'll 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 get some sort of confident by today itself seriously okay but okay. let it be in a very traditional method so there are two methods i'm going to teach you during the training one the traditional and the shortcut if i teach you the shortcuts you don't know how to do that in a traditional method because the shortcuts okay. will fail during the interviews so if you understand that traditional method you you will get a lot of logics you'll get a lot of logic okay so, so I'll be should, always... I, should i should i hold myself back uh, should i hold myself back until you teach the conventional way and then i can start working on the script or like i am confused actually i am excited that because of that excitement you know uh, like i don't want to go wrong actually you 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 are my mentor please you teach me how to go how to uh, how to have a better approach uh, towards this learning don't worry don't worry mom don't get panic huh? and don't get stress also okay so it's very very easy language but when it is going to be used you know uh, if you understand a concept in a very very easiest way then you can understand even if it's a toughest concept also there should be a person who teach you in a very fruitful manner and trust me i'm the one until unless you understand the concept i don't leave you if it is 10 30 11 30 12 30 midnight 2 30 also let them let them people who understand the concept let them leave if you stay i'll sit with you and keep on explaining with different different examples clear see i'm doing this kind of a training it's because of i'm i'm passionate in teaching understand i'm uh, it's not for like the sake of money or not any not anything okay yeah, i so, have experienced this thing sir. for the first time when i called you i think I called you around 12:30 or 1 o'clock. Uh, I, I messaged you and you replied. I'm very happy with that. Mashallah. You are very dedicated, sir. Okay, fine. So, shall I continue, Mr. Mohammed? I'm so sorry. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. That. Let's con let's continue. Okay. okay. So here we have a like you are going to play with a different kind of a parameters. So even though that parameter is also going to be act like a objects. So you will be playing with you will be knowing how to play with that objects and everything. So other elements in the sense we will be generally calling as an element IDs. So how do I keep all this stuff? So where I mean how I can become a developer because you know when it comes to the development there would be a lot of like conditions there are a lot of uh, I mean um, functions there are a lot of uh, predefined variables uh, there will be a lot of you know what do you say that uh, uh, reserved keywords the preserved keywords would be there how do you remember all this stuff to be frank it's not at all required for example let me show you we already have a tool when I select any element, so these are the parameters I, I, I can able to see, correct? Correct? Let's say electrical fixtures. Guys, you have to uh, speak something when I'm asking any question now. So sorry. Okay, I'm expecting only one thing. I want you to be answered. That's it. I'm not, I'm not expecting anything. Say yes or no. Simple. Okay. So when I select this element, so I can see only these parameters and I can see some other parameters. How many we have? Let's consider 4, oh. 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here we have uh, instance parameters. We have a 12 and 1, 2, 3, uh, like something like 12 or, 12 or 13 parameters on this. Totally, we have a 25 parameters. These are, this is the not only the session. I mean, these are not only uh, the parameters we have to play with. We, I mean, if you are a programmer, you know, like generally, the programmer should have a third eye. A third eye in the sense, they can see the invisible things which the others can't see. So that third eye is a rivet lookup. The third eye is a rivet lookup. I want to snoop the okay. selection. Okay. So when I snoop it, the entire data, this is the actual data. This is the actual data where the others can't see. Not only these are, let me show you. When I'm enter into the bonding box, I can see some other stuff again. If I enter into the transform, there is an another properties palette. See how many values I have, how many parameters I have. If I want to fetch the Z direction of it, I can how to get those. Let me close it. So if I want to get the ID of it, so this is an element so that the property, let me give you a basic idea. So the one we have to read with the blue colored text. Let me mute everyone. So we have the blue color the blue color bar you know so it is an element dot put a dot next to it and id simple element dot level id element dot yes, from where uh, sorry from where you'd uh, open this window this is a reboot lookup tool it's an external plugin you have to install that i'll explain you in the training don't worry okay okay clear okay. so element dot name element dot owner view id element dot parameters so element dot parameters map will not work element dot geometry will work element dot document will not work so you have to apply some common sense which of the parameters will work and which of the parameters will not work do you understand now you you clear so you have to apply some common sense but how do you how do you apply that common sense if you if you are aware of that if you're having some idea of it then only you can otherwise no so i am going to teach you all this stuff you know i don't let you struggle but you know when do we explain this uh, rivet lookup tool it is a shortcut method so there is an another traditional method so yesterday somebody asked somebody asked me like uh, how can i get that uh, nodes and everything so that is a traditional method the traditional method in the sense so how to find for a particular node? If you do it alone, it's a traditional method. Now, if you would like to use someone's help, then it's a shortcut method. So first we'll just go with the traditional method. Then I'll explain you the shortcut method. Clear? Clear everyone? Okay, sir. So this is going to be the second thing again. Flow chats. What do you mean by flow chat? You, I mean, you have to understand uh, like, uh, uh, there are some sort of a workflows, for example, what is that? Um, app dot diagram, it's dot net. 
there are some live oh we have already have a script here okay so we already have a, a script ready in the front generally you know what do we do we will be this is a flow chart so every programmer supposed to be uh, like practice with from the day one itself you have to be practiced with these kind of a flow charts for example you have a uh, let's take the same example do you understand what is happening here anyone uh, do you okay. able to understand at least at least 30 percent 50 percent do you understand what it does yeah it is uh, it is detecting the clash Hmm. Then and if it, there is a clash, then it will go to the twenty volts divided by trace. And if there is no clash, then it will go to eighty volts. Something like this. Okay, fine. Okay, so this is in a block wise though. So that is the reason you are able to understand. If the same program which is in the coding, do you able to understand that? No. Correct. No. Even though at least for one no. or two lines, you are not able to understand it and you will close that and you will do it manual right so if you have that yeah. something something which is similar to the blocks you know it's very easy to grab and connect it so here i i want to get all the elements of i mean what is an element walls here so i want to get all the trays here so i am having walls here and i am having trays here clear so I will be connecting these two into a different place. So what does that in this block, it will check where these two got intersected. Is it clear? So yeah. how to get all these walls? How to get all these walls? What is the specific node to get all the walls in the model? Logic. So you have to find out what for it. Then how to get all the trays in the model? So what is the node for it? Apply the traditional method, apply these methods, how to find, how to get all the trace within the model. Clear? Fine. So yes. if I finally, like luckily I got some nodes and I connected to a different block where it can find the intersection points of it. Fine. You have the intersection points. What do you do with that intersection then? What do you do with that intersection then? that intersection points will be if there is any intersection please follow this method if there are no intersection if there are no uh, like there are no clashes then how let's say we have a out we have a hundred walls or we have a hundred trays whatever so when i connect this to this it found 20 walls are getting clashed and 80 walls are 80 walls which are not clashing with any trays or nothing is it clear so I want to cross check with these walls. Are they connecting with, are there cross, I mean, are there are any intersections happened with the ducts? So, which is checking with the 80 walls. I'm going to check some other ducts or whatever. Is it clear? So, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> this is the way we have to write our own logics by using this kind of a workflows. I'll explain you how to do this. It's very easy. For example, if you want to drag this, so just drag here. I mean, if you want to drag something here. So if I got this, so let me connect this to this. Let me connect this to this. So once it is clear, so I would like to write something, text. So element count, whatever it is. I mean, if you want to play with something, type. Otherwise, you know, uh, generally when it comes to the logics, uh for me i'm very bad at rem remembering all this stuff okay seriously i have this i have this problem okay so what do i do i mean if something strikes if i want to do something you know first i'll create the flow chart then i'll start working on it if i got stuck somewhere here you know then i easy to understand okay i got stuck here i got it. successfully i got these elements so successfully i got the intersection points so i have to write an if condition how to write so you will be learning these kind of a flowchart creations during the training. Okay, it's clear. Okay, sir. so interface design. But sir, interface, yeah, sir, how how to access this uh, this website, sir? I'll share you. I'll share you the details in the training part. Don't worry. And even today, I have tried the bimera dot dot in, sir, but I couldn't find like I couldn't go to it. Is that no? Maybe you you uh, you have. Mistake, not type this. Let me copy this 
link here in the chat box okay but because i am i am from kohit sir so uh, i am like maybe it is not available here or i don't know okay okay no no not exactly it it will work in any reason uh, mohammed we'll discuss that later we'll discuss we'll okay. discuss that later okay so okay. interface design okay. in the sense uh, this is nothing but a ui ui in the sense you know uh, uh, like most of the people feel that uh, rajesh uh, in the training what are you going to teach me i mean what about the ui so what is the new what is a custom node what is a open so what is this recent history so what is the backup what is a discussion form what is a dynamo website everything i'm not going to miss even single pinpoint when it comes to the ui okay i'll teach you each and every option in the file i'll teach you every option in the edit view packages settings help everything i'm going to teach you each and every concept and where it has to be implemented so this is a ui part is it clear is it clear yes sir. so this is a ui part interface design so where is the another one debugging visual programming can help to simplify the debugging process of a program making the program more transparent what is the debugging so you are playing with a, a different kind of a, a coding terminologies so sometimes you know uh, for example mr uh, like mr satyajit has created a script and he would like to share it to the santosh shavan so what happens it's working in such a satyajit machine but it is not working on santosh shavan machine so there are some sort there is a sort of a troubleshooting okay so you have to even though like it, it's working in satyajit machine it's not working in santosh machine why it's working in again in vitri machine it's not working in the virus machine why so you have to apply some you know like a like some sort of a uh, like troubleshooting techniques understanding the concept is completely different if you i mean when you become a coordinator if you if your team has a problem or if you have your problem if you could able to solve it if you could able to solve someone's problem then only you can become a coordinator either it is a design part or it is a modeling part whatever it is so if you would able to solve something then only you can be considered it's like a if you say no for anything no you still be the modeler or still be the senior modeler whatever you understand the troubleshooting is a very very important stuff when it comes to uh when it comes to you know the coding part you should be able, not only coding like whatever okay so the, the when it comes to you know for example uh if you once you done there are few more concepts next to it the concepts that have uh i've been showing you in this you know where is that I'm so sorry um what is a dynamo training no not so or you know curriculum yeah it's curriculum so these are the concepts what we are going to show you these are very very uh, less concepts because you know we are not releasing uh, we don't want to release this the curriculum out the actual curriculum okay these are this has been developed almost like a 8 uh, months ago 8 to I, i think 10 months ago okay we have added many concepts to it the one yesterday i have shown you in a excel okay so we are going to learn each and every single concept in every day training you are going to get at least 20 to 30 tips for sure okay i will be focusing on the concept as well as i'm i'll be focusing on the tips and tricks the way you will be completely uh, overfeeded trust me okay i'll you will be overfeeded with you know generally uh, it will take at least two i mean at least one to two years to get all these concepts if you google it if you don't know how to what to ask to google you know it's 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 a it's a very very bad thing but we have i have like my experience you know the six years of experience to be feed in just matter of 30 days to you then you will not be you will not be a mod you will not be a like beginner at all trust me okay so i will teach you to up to the design scripting stage design scripting is nothing but a sort of a scripting interface it's sort of a scripting interface okay which is not a c language is which is not a python which is not a iron python which is not a revit api it is a different language which is especially designed to play within the revit and dynamo and that is very easy again it's seriously it's very very easy and how easy it is let me show you a basic example let me show you a very basic example you know 
um, don't get uh, panic and uh, confuse so electrical fixtures i want to turn it off so structural columns i'll turn it off so I, i'm having only the rugs now let me uh, take an example how to get all those ducts how to get all those ducts so categories that's a traditional method categories so duct is my category so i'll select the ducts from the list and i'll ask i want to get all the elements of a i want to get all the elements of the particular category so when i connect this to this i'm getting all the ducts here okay so if i'm explaining any MEP examples, you know, don't consider the entire training would be into the MEP perspective. I'm going to teach you in the architecture perspective as well. Okay. Into the structural perspective as well. Whatever you ask me, you know, I'll take, I'll consider those as an examples and I'll give it to you. The only request I'm asking, you have to ask me, I want this. I want this. You understand. Okay. I'm not a, a trainer, man. You're not, it's not a free training. You're paying me. You understand. So utilize it utilize it okay so i have a 724 ducks so i want to get element let's see the magic of uh, the actual uh, thing here so elements dot sorry element dot get parameter value by name i'll just open the bracket and i want i have an elements comma and i want to get the uh, let's see length of it length parameter of this Okay, so when I connect this to this, so which is giving me the length information. So which is giving me the complete length information. To, if I want to do the same exact thing, uh, you know, let me show you. Dynamo training. There are three different methods. There are three different methods that you 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 supposed to play with. Okay, the first one is uh, the engineer method. Engineer's method in the sense it's which are really called as a design scripting method. Design scripting method. Okay, it looks like uh, the formulas and the variables and uh, it's a pure into the coding part. Okay, the one we are using with if you are a BIM modeler or if you are a designer, BIM engineer, you will be using the node based method. This is the first method you're supposed to start with. And then you will be going into the second method using design. I mean, it's called design scripting. And then if you are good at design scripting, you know, the Python would be very, very easy. If you directly switch from the uh, node based method into the Python method, it will take some time to get into this to understand the Python uh, like terminologies. But if you've been into this design scripting and then if you start playing with the Python, you, the Python looks like almost like which is very, very easy to play with. Trust me. So that is the reason we've been introduced the design scripting concept to make the programmers. I mean, if you are from a like a BIM background, you are from a civil background, you are from architecture background, and you and you are not at all aware of any coding. So we don't directly introduce you the coding directly. Okay. So we will take you to the different uh, like a place where it's called design scripting. After the design scripting, you will come to the Python. So by the end of the training, you will be into this thing so after learning this design scripting if you sit on the day one you will be able to understand the python concepts were very very easy to you it's my promise okay so otherwise we don't teach this design scripting concept if it is not at all required okay fine so uh, it's not like killing your time it's i mean it's not like wasting your time or something that is a very very useful language okay there are few methods to make every person uh, like happy in, uh, with their learning, okay? But most of the trainers, they don't do it. Even though they know that, I mean, the person's can able to, uh, you know, how to teach them with a very, uh, very easiest manner. Why? Because they have a certain instructions from the management uh, to don't stretch the training as, I mean, this, this entire training is supposed to finish in this time. Here, I am the management. It's my decision. If you ask me anything, I can help you out, except the financial part, because I'm not the person who's dealing with the financial. Okay. So if you stretch this complete training hours into er everything, now, Rajesh, could you please explain this? If at least two to three people asking the same 
question you know i'll be definitely answer it even though if you are one so on that day i will cancel the training i'll cancel the training i'll explain only your doubts there are q and a session actually supposed to be one but from last batch onwards it's going to be two or three so q and a session it's going to, i mean you can ask whatever you want i mean I, if you want to see this thing i'll explain you that i'll show you how to do that and i'll see uh, i want you to i i don't want you to leave you as a student i want you to be as my like uh, uh, like my company contributor contributor in the sense if i placed you into any company we will be getting some sort of an x revenue from you it's called a contribution and we are spending this in a different charities to be frank seriously but i don't want to reveal it now we'll be knowing in the during the training okay so, so we will be uh, i want you to be as a uh, like treat you as a contributor okay so if you are very very enthusiastic to learn uh, these kind of stuff this is a perfect training for you and i'm going to be the right trainer for you clear fine so let me look into it now i don't want this uh, this duck length is a 3441 this is a 2728 uh, there are some other 3411 if based on the logic for every 4500 mm okay every for 4.5 meter i want to place a support so i want to check if any duct which is the duct length which is bigger than 4500 which is 4500 please could you please print that elements i want to print that elements okay oh, sorry okay print that elements if not let's see null so now i can see this is a duct so there are few ducts actually there are few ducts so 1 2 3 2. i can't count each and everything so what do i do i want to clean this so i will be using ds core dot so when it comes to the dot you know you see how many dots we have dot 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 there is a let me type everything ds core dot uh, list dot clean again in the brackets so if i type all this don't get scared huh? you are going to be uh, play up to this extent out of the 724 elements there are 54 ducts which are having i mean which are bigger than bigger than 4500 they are bigger than 4500 okay for example if example if i want to get those uh, the parameter values you know and then in that case element dot get parameter value by name let me ask length of it length of it again okay sorry length of it again so i am getting see all these are bigger than 4500 so that is the reason i got here no i want to get what about the width size so i'll just get the width information of it so these are 250 ducts we have a 350 ducts we have so for 275 ducts we have 450 ducts we have so i can clear it i can check everything within this code block in a one single code block you can write the entire stuff if i want to do this a manual stuff it will take some time it will take some time to write exactly using the node based system node based system let me show you so what are the functions that i used here i used i mean now we have to take the blue color text only so get peri, get parameter value by name i'll type here so which is giving me something so here when i connect this to this so this is expecting element so i connected the element so this is expecting the length you know control c so you are going to learn all those techniques during the training so when i connect this to this i got this now i used a function called this paste it here i got this functions whatever we have seen in the open ai you know that's going to be and what is the i value it's a 4500 so if i type this false i am having like a true or false values so what i supposed to do with the 4500 value if it is a true then it has to print the width information then i will be using filter by boolean mask thus and connect this to this and then again get parameter value by name this is an another one now and get this and i'll connect this to this and parameter name 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm caught. Uh, width now. Uh, I mean, I can copy the same text from here as well. I want to get to width. Paste here. Say this. Instead of writing the entire, I mean, instead of placing the entire blocks, I've written in something in just one single uh, code block itself. Are, I mean, if I have this design, but I want to write like this, can I do that in a, without understanding? Right click, not to code. See how easy it is. So if you want to understand the coding terminology as well, this Dynamo is uh, helping you out to, uh, which is helping you out to understand a different coding terminology. So this process we generally generally call as a single line commanding system. Okay, in a single line, in a one line, you can write like one line, one line method, one line the command system. Here we call this process a nesting. You know, this is for the beginners. This is for the completely beginners. And once you got a good good amount of experience, then I would suggest you to write all this and trust me you will be up to this stage by the end of the training and it's my promise so dynamo is a very very uh you know seriously i'm telling you if you learn dynamo it doesn't mean that you are a you, you have taken a very good decision and uh your vision is very clear are you, seriously i'm telling you you are learning a very 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 outdated language outdated concept now companies are more sharper than the people now okay so the company the people who are looking into it they're not asking for the people who are good at dynamo okay they're asking those the persons who are good at in the coding part and the api part you know because the dynamo doesn't have the complete access to a play with everything within the revit model you understand there are some limitations you can't go beyond some extent uh, when you when when you're playing with you know uh, rivet when you're playing with the dynamo seriously i'm telling you you have only only 60 but not not even not exactly like 60 okay fine you can consider it's like a you can automate only 60 percent of the workflows with the help of a dynamo rajesh in that you can ask me in that case if i want to crack the 100 percent then what there are some sort of a methodologies to understand here okay so today i'm going to finish this complete ppt for you for you okay so if you are very new to the programming you know you have to start with a dynamo seriously if anybody said it's you you're supposed to go with the python kick him out seriously okay so don't listen to those kind of stuff programming is not at all required to understand whether you join the training program or not doesn't matter but don't listen to those seriously it's it's wasting i mean it's seriously wasting your own time okay don't do that so first, if you are like when, why, you know, because like we are going to play with the scripts, the created, those created by someone else. If you couldn't able to find a particular script out of those 190,000 scripts, then you, there is no other option. You have to sit and write. If you want to sit and write, you should understand if can't find a note, code me here. So learn Python language, learn Python language and start playing with an iron Python. Both are different. What is a Python and uh, learn Python and come to me in the sense Python is different than a Iron Python. Iron Python is a, a application Python actually. Okay, so it's an application Python. Here our application is a Revit. So that is the reason it's called Revit Python. Simple thing. It's a Revit Python. Clear? If you would like to play with a Civil 3D, it's a Civil 3D Python. Okay. In general terms, we will be calling it like a Iron Python, which plays with an applications. For example, if you learn the complete Python, you know, it will be useless. For example, if you joined a Python training institute to, I mean, after the Dynamo, you will, you, you joined a Python training institute. So here they taught you all the hundred concepts. So you are, you have done the exam, you, you scored like 99%. Seriously, it will be useless. Trust me, because there are only 20% concepts required to play with a python the rest of the 80 percent even you don't play with at all and this iron python is not that complicated you are using some resources to play with even this 20 percent so trust me it's going to be very very friendly python 
whatever i mean the concepts that you supposed to learn they are very very easy but you will learning into the modules and bringing the data into are you are not building a website man you are just you are you are playing with an application for your general like uh, to routine i mean uh, to model something what you are doing in a routine uh, in a daily routine do you understand so in that case this the 20% concepts are more than enough to handle don't waste your time and uh, the people who got 40% thing here they'll get confused are this i can't handle i think we have to finish this 100% still i'm doubted this 40% and they'll they'll stop they'll stop learning here itself because of the scariness because of the scariness seriously okay so don't don't do that don't do that don't get confused at all understand don't get confused at all the 20% concepts are more than enough again at the same time so once you are good at iron python learn the iron python we have let me i'll i'll show you that um, by the end of the training if i if i don't show you that please remind me please remind me i'll show you how the revit api looks like okay so you are taking you just still you are using the copy paste over there seriously you are still taking the copy paste only you will be copying the functions from somewhere and you will get these things done you will be copying some formulas over there and you will paste it in the revit dynamo simple not only that for example i can ask open ai i can ask open ai to give me the code seriously i don't know who created this uh, is such an idiot uh, it will it will give you even the python scripts also for example let me show you write a python write a revit python code to get all the doors in the let me write a revit python code huh? Uh, revit python code you know in the revit model let me ask let's see how it's seriously uh how it is considering uh this entire code which is very really really very beautiful i mean if you ask a c sharp code also it will give you it's giving you the c sharp code as well i'm seriously telling you okay so it is asking see if i copy this entire thing it's giving the door the door dot oh it's giving the names man okay write a revit python code i don't want to get all the doors let's say ducks let's say i'll call ducks hmm hmm okay fine let me copy the same content here in a project let me copy the same content here i'll just go to the revit dynamo and uh, in a python script i'll just create a i'll, I'll just i have a, a block here so in that block i want to copy paste entire thing but i don't want to copy paste because i already have the content here so what do i do as i'll just copy only this content i just want to print only this content for a sake for the some time being so when i paste this so i'm having this entire thing so filtered element collected dot of category dot duck curves uh, where element is not element type when i click on if i want to print this collector i'm just getting all the ducks now i want to convert this into the two elements two elements open the bracket and close it when i click on save changes i got all the dex see which is giving you the complete code here to access it so you no need to look into any different places to get everything is it clear is it clear it will give you the c sharp code for the clash coordination clash coordination you can develop an addons with the help of this open ai as well so i have tested many 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 scripts which is really we used to have like bang our heads with our monitors the nearest like everything nearest walls with to get the logic but here we are getting it into our hand like anything so utilize the source guys utilize the source okay so if you would like to create an open ai and after like two three days i mean because of you keep on asking the questions the open ai will not work until unless you buy the credits okay but here we are paying for this you're paying for this utilize this uh, domain and uh, 
get your searches done okay fine that's a different story now this is the dynamo this is the dynamo the one which i've shown you before you know that is a uh, what is that node based system and this is a python based system so first you're supposed to go with the node based then the design scripting then the python and trust me i will i was like you will be uh, having the very very beautiful journey the learning journey with bimara okay uh, like uh, the hard is not at all hard is not at all mohammad mohammad please mute yes sir okay no you want to ask something no okay fine thank you so <laughs> i'm getting my own voice that's why okay fine so this uh, this is the this is the main thing like i'm not easy like a revit python so like a revit python you can play with me which even a python can't so what is the statement in the sense with this dynamo you can play up to 60% workflows when you are a beginner you can expect 100% but after having some sort of an experience you know you will realize by yourself i am not able to get this i couldn't find that node so who will help me out no one can help you you have to sit and write iron i mean iron python so in this case it will give you 80% of workflows can be done so there is a only difference it's a 20% but it will take a lot of time to write the entire blocks but it will be very very easy in this iron python with one lines with the two lines maximum your scripts would be done in a five lines also you i, I don't ask you to print the complete like 500 lines of a code it's just matter of five to 10 lines seriously very very it's a very very easiest thing clear no clear uh, one second huh? swati okay fine so the next i mean if you want to break the complete 100% you know there is a language called c sharp and it is a very 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 not easiest stuff huh? very very toughest language you can't uh, let me give an example a huh? very very worst example seriously uh, we have uh, actually we have decided to uh, there is a requirement for a client they need a uh, three uh, add in developers so we are on a com campaign like uh, one year ago uh, uh, i mean if you are running like a 5 lakh we'll make it 10 lakhs if you are running like six six we'll we'll get it 12 so everybody interested and they paid the fee <laughs> on the third day like out of 20 people i seen only 3 to 4 people you you understand that it's 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 a really really uh uh like you know finding the people uh, those who i mean they have an interest they have an interest they have a zeal to learn this but you know if i if you start teaching directly c sharp language you know you will definitely fade out okay so that is how it is so like uh, unfortunately we are returned uh, almost everyone's fees okay luckily so not a, that that was not a big deal but c sharp is a very very tough first language okay so what is a workflow i mean what is a training flow to learn first the 30 days you will be learning the dynamo so you can take 10 days or 15 days a break and then join this revit python after this revit python you know at least you need minimum of 6 months of experience on the python then come and learn this c sharp language because in this 6 months you will be understanding a lot of terminologies and they would be memorized to you directly it will be it will be memorized if you will be knowing that if i ask you to write a for loop you will be right if i ask you to write a while loop you will be doing it so if you ask to print so and so you will be doing it after 6 months very quickly so that memorizations will help you to understand to digest the advanced concepts so the terminology which is keep on i mean the terminology which is keeping keep on the same but the language syntaxes will be changing so that syntax changing can be easily able to understand if you switch one language to another language you know for example if you initially you learned c and it sometimes it will take uh, it's it will take some time to uh, digest the python language even though it is easy because of the syntax problem if the c and python looks same then that is fine but c syntax are completely different than a python syntax so python syntax is completely different than a c sharp syntax again so while you playing with the syntaxes it is different so i don't want you to confuse in that case so that is the reason 
you have to take at least six months break. If anybody suggested you to learn Dynamo after Revit API, kick him out. Seriously, don't do that. That's a very, very bad, uh, uh, you know, idea. Okay. So work smart. Uh, this is supposed to uh, present yesterday itself. Okay. So like, this is nothing but like doing manual work uh, with a comparative to like automation. Okay. So most of the people still they are doing they are, they are aware of what the automation does, but still, you know, they feel it's very complicated learning and they, they don't like to enter into it. Hurry, once you start seeing, I mean, even the people, those who have into this uh, Dynamo industry, you know, Dynamo industry, I have seen many videos. Uh, there is a 30 minute script. Hurry, there is a 10 minute script. Okay. So they are, they are doing, it's like they just got the created script and started explaining do that do this do this are why you have to take that same exact node man so where is the logic behind it so how it is accepting the inputs they are not teaching exactly those kind of a concepts those kind of a teachings that i am going to teach you in my training in my training so after you done the our training you know go and watch any video you will be more confident and you will be able to understand what this guy is trying to do within just matter of two to three minutes you can keep on you can keep on skipping the complete video by watching the notes itself you don't even listen to what he's saying about trust me understand okay so up to that extent i'm gonna take you out so that is only that is the confidence so that is the reason because of i'm not teaching you any scripts that is the only reason i'm more focusing on the concepts which needs to be understand to write your own scripts Nothing else. Is it clear, guys? Is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every every session, it's like a two hours, like Hollywood movie for you. And trust me, of course, there are a lot of comedy as well. Trust me. Okay. So you'll thoroughly enjoy the training. I don't be a like I don't act like a professional trainer, and there is no or I don't love don't I don't all I don't do all this stuff. So it, it'll be very very fun and with very very fruitful way. So if you ask me silliest thing, you know, I'll explain. If you ask me very uh, complicated stuff, I do explain with a happy face. So tell, if we start at 8.30, 11.30 also, I'll be looking at a happy face if you keep on asking the questions. I like the people who keep on asking the questions. You understand? Because, you know, if any person is not asking any questions, he is not into the training. He is having like mobile in his hand and he's ch 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 chatting with his girlfriend. And whenever I ask him, sir, can you please repeat the question again? <laughs> okay. I won't allow this kind of a stuff at all. Anyways, I don't let you even deviate out of the training also. I'll take care of it. Okay. Fine. So in 2015, when the Dynamo was introduced, you know, uh, it has a very, very limited, uh, uh, like, you know, limited possibilities, limited actions to do. But when it comes to 2023, it can do everything which a Revit can. In some cases, you know, it can do with which what Trivit cannot do it. Okay, fine. So, so for example, if I want to draw a wall, you know, you have to draw this, you have to write this, like how many? 30 lines of a code. To draw one single line, you have to write those 37 lines of a code. Do you really like to write this entire code to draw a single wall? Or do it, do you do it manually? Huh? We will do it manually. Yeah, that's better. Scariness. Okay, fine. Let me show you a beauty here. From here to like here, you know, this is a template. This is the template. This is the just a template. Like how we have an architectural template, how we have a structural template, how we how we have an MEP template. So this is a template. You'll be just copying paste into every code and it will it'll come automatically. So where you are writing this, the almost like one to 10 lines of a code, which automates the entire building for you. Now, do you like to write those 10 lines of a code to automate everything? Do you? Yes, sir. Right now. So don't look into this kind of a, like scariest uh, like languages and don't get confused. If you start understanding, it will be very, very easy. So we will give you that understanding to you. 
don't worry how to read a warning how to enjoy the warning how to understand the warning first of all like what it is asking for and what did i connect if you apply like if you've been there you you put complete mind on that script you know trust me within 10 to 15 minutes you can cre- you, you can keep on creating the scripts trust me okay so <laughs> this is not the one this is you can i mean it's saying like um, that at the time of like i've taken this pack i mean screenshot it is 1175 package but now we have a 1900 almost like 800 within the span of uh, uh eight months not eight months six to seven months so within the span of like uh, six to seven months there are almost 80 800 800 uh, 800 uh, uh packages were come packages so each and every package like you have a 100 so there are almost like 80000 uh? yeah so there are almost like 80000 scripts are built in the last 6 8 months so at the time of when you are become an expert you will be enjoying thoroughly the complete the dynamo okay take this as a uh, like you know how many days you been into uh, into the same company for so long let me t- give you a very very bad example i have shifted my like i um, mean i changed i mean if you see my cv on my linkedin portfolio in linkedin profile you know in a matter of 4 years i've changed six companies i have not been there into one company at least for 6 to 9 months and there are no proper resignations every company i simply quit if i feel there is no like you know uh, there is no growth i used to quit i'm not saying you to quit you know so the quit in the sense if you quit there must be uh, there must be a, a worthy of for it so when i did my first quit from the modeler to the senior modeler to the and when it comes to the modeler when a draftsman to the modeler and modeler to the senior and that senior there was an explain there was a story like uh, i have selected for two two companies at the same time so one company is about to pay in like like 92000 the second company is paying around like 78000 which one i do ju- i do choose generally which one you choose generally hmm higher higher salary 90 to 1 i've choose like 78 one 78 one the reason i've seen the designation over there i've seen the designation over there so the designation they have offered me what i'm expecting for but the pay what they are paying you know 92 it's it's exactly like the same designation i'm carrying out do you understand so work for the designation not for the salary if you keep on changing your designations you know once there was a stamp added into your profile as a bim developer it means you are into the it industry and once you started in, once you get into the it industry the salaries would be like anything that you would be never expect if the same person who i mean like your employees like become an ex employees they been still getting the same like 5% of 10% hike and uh, after 5 years 10 years they still getting the same thing with 10 to 15 percent hike but you been there into like 60 to 70 percent hikes keep on while well, you keep on changing the companies i have i have sent many people those who are having like a 3 years of experience into the modeling part and they learned the bim automation now they are e- earning almost equal to uh, a coordinator like said better than the coordinator salary there are 10 years of experience candidate i have seen is still getting 80000 per month now these guys are getting like a 90 to 95000 uh, per you know per month do you understand okay so i can show you this proofs in the training part okay don't don't take it as a it's, it's not that tough you have to give your personal time for your learning if you are learning and if you if you prove yourself and you can you can you can catch my caller and ask me where is my job i'll definitely do it and that's if i need a people who ask like that seriously i'm telling okay so if you wish to change your you know are i am not a sales guy to discuss all these kind of stuff okay this i'm telling you the practical practical things what happening in the bim industry the companies are keep on looking for the people who are into this uh, this automation field because you know if you create a script it's going to be used in the, in every projects in every projects so if you save a time for 4 hours that you are you keep on saving the time the same for us for n number of projects do you understand it means it, it means a lot to them okay so don't Rajesh, uh, don't yeah 
Yes, I have two questions. Uh, yes, first question is, Dynamo has been like from 2015, you know, I also knew it from 2017. Do you think that because of chat GPT or some of these AI tools, working with Dynamo has become more easier as compared to three, four years ago? That's the first mm -hmm. question. That's why mm -hmm. we should learn it. And mm -hmm. second is, um, I am electrical engineer working yeah, in Germany. Uh, for me, I am not able to um, decide whether I have to put my focus into learning engineering softwares, which will help me to you know, become more proficient into electrical design, or whether I have to focus on to Dynamo scripting and everything, which is the BIM side of you know, the another part of uh, uh, the um, BIM thing, I would say. So hmm. I'm not able to figure out that if I learn Dynamo, is there something new that also I have to learn or okay. whether the knowledge of Dynamo would be sufficient for me, you know, to do what you are doing right now. I shouldn't feel like I have invested one year learning Dynamo and at the end of one year, I should have said that, no, I should have rather invested learning a Siemens software or something and not Dynamo. What is your, mm -hmm. you know, view? Viewpoint on to be this. frank, okay. Let's be a let's. I mean, as a mentor, if you are into the engineering field, okay, and if you wish to change your career into the BIM sector, first focus on the BIM tools, not on the automation tools. You understand the reason why? Uh, for the first question, there is no answer because because that's not because of the Chat GPT or nothing. Okay, you can't. I mean, the Chat GPT will not give you the Dynamo scripts. The Chat GPT will not give you the uh, the other stuff. It's completely different story. Okay, so there is no answer mm -hmm. for the first question. Second thing is, uh, it depends upon the way you how you design the career. So this Dynamo is for the people who are already experienced in the rivet, and their fees. I mean, you know, when I used to work when I'm as a modeler, are from the morning nine o'clock to till evening six o'clock, I'm keep on doing the same uh, traditional the dragging the cable trays, taking that into the panels and placing the conduits to it. So the same stuff, I'm an electrical person, to be frank, okay? So I used to do the same stuff when it comes to it. So if somebody asked me, like, uh, can you please help me out with this modeling, with the ducting, you know, I used to go, uh, I used to go to the uh, people like, uh, I will do your work for some time. So could you please teach me how to do the ducting part? So, and then started giving me, they started giving me their work. Uh, I used to learn it. Why? Because I want to be settled as I may be. So I have designed my career into the MEP, then I wish that this has to be automated. So I started auto I learn automation. But in your case, you know, there is there is no link between the engineering directly with an automation in this dynamo, to be frank. Okay. So learn, invest whatever you can on the BIM tools first. Once you get good hands-on on the rivet, do you have an experience on rivet? Sunny, yes, Sunny? I've been working uh, since five years. On the Revit tool, huh? Yeah. Then so I'm working as a BIM manager here, I would say. So I set up all the projects, I do everything. Because there are some tools, for example, PyRevit, DRoots, with which you can do exactly the same things uh, some might do in Dynamo, but not to that extent. For example, you can't duplicating use the sheet. These are yeah. uh, keep on changing from project to project, Sanket. Okay, yeah. so there are some sort of an add-ons you can't use for like sort of cases because you know they are like they're not like a project specific it's not uh i mean you can't change it accordingly I've, i we have uh, like when we are when i was working for a company even though they have a, a like a person who can deliver who can uh, you know uh, create sort of an add-ons it's me but still we used to use a dros plugin we used to use some of the plugins then we started uh creating our own plugins for a company on the name of company name and we started developing it and we start buying the add-ins you understand so when the when yes. started when when we started selling the same add-ins for our projects or, or to our clients you know they started keep on asking so can i customize this can i customize this do you understand so where we cannot yeah. add those customizations every into an add-in but when it comes to the dynamo if you are a big manager i will not suggest you to go and uh, sit and do the scripts part, but as a manager, you're supposed to understand the terminologies. You know, for example, yeah. if I'm a modeler and you are a manager, you've done your uh, like uh, uh, engineering degree from a like a best university, and you don't have a modeling experience, you don't have a coordination experience. You went to a modeler, 
and asked could you please print this mr pravin so pravin said like uh, sir it will take a, a five days to finish this entire modeling but it will take just three to four hours but he'll say like four to five days so you have to obey what he said exactly do you understand why yeah. because you are not you are you haven't come from the same background do you understand when it comes to yeah. you you have a chance of doing something automated for example let me give you a same story of this this has this has been faced in like uh, everywhere for example i have faced i have placed around like a like you know there are uh, how many elements let's consider 100 100 elements i have placed so the engineer based on the engineering instructions i have placed like some sort of uh, elements here and there okay so after like two to three days an uh, engineer has come and asked me could you please add one more fixture or like three more fixtures in so and so places so what i have to do exactly here as per the logic so 37 38 39 40 41 42 so he asked me to change or add one additional socket here now this 42 becomes this 42 becomes 43 43 becomes 44 44 becomes 45 so how long it will take to do it manually it happened with me it happened with me two years ago i changed the entire schematic for two weeks just okay. because of this fine for the first yeah. time it is okay second time so you want to remove some elements again based on some of your senior engineer instructions you have changed it again so you removed this so what do you do exactly again it is a rework right so yeah. why should you have to do it if it is for 100 elements that is fine you have a 50 floors building and if you change in one place you have to change in everywhere true understood true? yeah so this kind of a stuff will help you to help i mean it will help you in those uh, uh, kind of a you know uh, a time saver yeah. it will say i'm totally convinced that uh, i have to learn dynamo the only thing is when it comes to the checking part for example i have to look how many cable trays are there which uh, don't have host or how many sockets are there who don't have uh, 300 millimeter as a height or something so this is my goal from this course that i should be able to find out in a blink you of an learn. eye that exactly the, the scripts what you have asked me you know you what you are telling me you know you will be learning within just matter of six to seven days training i don't say that you have to finish the 30 days training to play with this entire scripts huh? the scripts what you have been asked you will be able to play within the fourth day and it's my promise sanket seriously I'm that's you. that's great okay yeah. so that you will be, be understanding helpful. yeah seriously okay so i'll be help you out to understand this but one thing i'm requesting you i want to be your vision what why you are into this training so list out your i mean i'm going to share an excel document to everyone to our students okay <laughs> so you will be listing out why you want to learn this automation stuff so we will prepare accordingly what the vision of your learning into it and will make happy everyone over there is it clear so whatever you ask the question i'm going to show it to everyone so if the same question i have the something you know then we'll keep on exchanging the data is it clear is it clear yeah. everyone clear yes fine then so this is one more so we have a three different terminals I hope I cleared your answer, Sanket. So I'm just getting into the uh, the concept again. Okay. Yes. So, thank you very much, Rajesh. Thank you. So, so I mean, once you learn Dynamo, you can be play. You can apply the same terminals in almost all the Dynamo interfaces. Not a civil 3D, not a alias design, not a format, not an advanced still everywhere. So this is a programming structure. As of now, I can't explain you. We'll we'll see that later. Okay. This I already explained. If you are a designer or a programmer or you are a manager, if you apply some sort of a terminologies like computational thinking and algorithms, abstractions and analysis, there are many concepts. If you apply all this stuff, you can create a 3D model with a multiple design options with a 100% coordinated design. It is a false statement. Not possible at all. Okay. Don't expect 100% coordinate design. Okay. So somehow the design you will be getting it out. For example, uh, for example, you know, like uh, I have a let's say 
So I have a, a panel here. Let's say I have a one more panel here. Let's say, okay, I have a panel here and I have one more panel. So I want to uh, connect, I, I want to take a cable train from here, this place to this place. So it will give you the first design and it will give you, there are uh, six clashes if you follow this method. Okay, then, then I'll ask Dynamo, could you please show me some other? Then it will show me the K, I mean the corridor method and it will give you 18 clashes. Oh, no, 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 no. I want, can you please show me some other? So it will give you uh, the route like this and it will give you only the three clashes. So I'll fix it. So these kind of a design options with the not completely coordinate design, you have to, once it is done, then you have to play with the second script where which automates the wall openings and everything that I'm going to show you later. Not only that stuff, you, if you are from architectural structure background, you can easily create these kind of a stuff. Seriously, I'm telling you uh, to build this concepts, you know, it will take maximum uh, 15 to 30 minutes. Once you're done with a, a dynamo geometry training from the mirror. Seriously. Okay. So we'll explain you how to do this, how to do it, uh, how it has to be done. We will help you to how to get that logic and everything. Okay. Fine. So this is a text based data I've shown you already. Like, I mean, any kind of a data, I mean, it's called like a manipulation. So the data can be manipulated, the data can be sorted, the data can be filtered, the data can be, uh, you know, like, uh, like shuffled, like anything. So like how exactly like you want, for example, very simple, uh, I'll take an example. For example, I have the ducks, I want to get the mark values. So element dot, uh, element dot get parameter value by name. Let me show you a very basic example element or get parameter value by name. I'll just get the mark value of it. Let's get the mark value of it. So it's supposed to start with one. See, one is missing, two is missing, three and four is missing. No, I want to be this in an order. Okay, then how do you do that? I'll get, I'll see, I have a total 724 ducks, but the mark value is at 1343. How come it is? I want to reset from one to 724. So what it will is dot, I want to get all the count information of this. So it's giving like 724. So last, I want to print one to uh, X value. So that X is going to be like a 724. So it will print one to 724 elements. So I want to assign all these values to the mark parameter to each and every element. So what it not exactly this thing, I want to add an additional duct. I mean, additional text, which is like, a, which is like, you know, um, duct, sorry, duct with a hyphen space when I connect this to this, when I connect this to this. So duct one, duct 22, like duct seven under 24. So I want to apply this. I want to set this exactly, set parameter by name. So I know the elements. I know the parameter name, it is a mark. I know the values, it's, it has to be connected. It's done. See all set. If I go and check now, if I select this, it's just showing duct 367. If I check this, it's a duct 590. So if I check this, like duct 661, is it clear? Is it clear? So it can be adjusted accordingly. Is it clear? Is it clear everyone? Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Sir. Fine. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's just a matter of like not even one or two minutes. So you will be playing these kind of scripts very confidently within uh, like five to six days itself because you know there are key concepts to be understand. So I will be very, very stretched into those concepts to make you understand this uh, like this kind of a stuff in a, a training part. Clear? For the first five to six days, my complete attention would be to make you write, to make you understand first of all. To make you understand in the first two day session and the third day I want you to write, I'll give you a sort of a very basic assignments. So you will be doing it. Okay. So if you don't do it, then I'll, I'll on the next day or, or some other day, I'll explain you what are the assignments I've given. I'll be explaining you. Clear? Yeah, Clear Mr. Rajesh, uh, one question. Yeah, Bino. 
Yeah. Uh, are you providing any uh, study material or something like that, a text or very, something like that? Then? Very, very, very good question. So whatever you are spending on the training part, you know, the material which I am giving you, which is very worth it in the training. Seriously, because I have bought some sort of a books, uh, which are with a worth of like 8,000, which book, some books are like a 10,000. Some books are like uh, 2,000. Some books are like 3,000. I'll be sharing you this, that uh, like training material. And not only that, some additional, like we, we have a learning platform as well. We have some sort of a learning plat platform, like a, let me show you that if I can present you something here. So, Bimera Private Limited Elite Learning. So, in this Elite Learning, you will be, uh, I mean, for example, when I click on this, so I can able, you can able to play, I can able to understand the C programming language, C++, object oriented programming, automation scripting. So, you will be learning this, not only that. There are many skills that you can search for directly. So when it comes to the skills, so if I add a new skill, so this entire learning, this is like a, a another Udemy. This is another like another Udemy. So you all, if you used to learn something like a Power BI, which is the next skill supposed to be learned for the BIM manager, or if you are a BIM coordinator, you must learn this, the Power BI or other stuff. So you will be having an access from here if i if i wish to learn some sort of a financial training so i can play with sort of other stuff so these kind of a stuff you're going to be getting as a benefit for a lifetime for a lifetime okay this this it, this cost actually 12000 uh for one year but you will be getting it's like a lifetime for a very very uh, lesser cost very lesser cost it's not even a 10000 it's it's just like a 1000 Okay, so this is going to be benefited for your learning. So why? Because, you know, uh, I want everyone supposed to understand, uh, learn everything from the scratch uh, till some extent, until unless you got jobs, you know, once you hide into a, like as a uh, uh, add-in developer, I'll take the access back. <laughs> okay, so I can assist with, I can assist, I can give it this access to someone else. Okay. So this is how it, it would be fine. Anyways, so the study material, which I'm giving you, which is very, 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 very worthy than uh, like what you are getting. For example, you know, let me show you something. Let me stop the recording for some time. So trust me, the material which you get from me, it's more worthy than what you what you're paying for. OK, because, you know, I mean, if in case if you if you have seen a book which is worth of 15,000 or 20,000, still I'll be able to buy it and I'll provide the access to everyone because I'm not especially uh, paying for, I mean, it's not giving you for like a free, okay? So it's it, it, the same book will be used for every student. Do you understand? So in that case, you will be getting the complete access uh, for most of my library, okay? Don't worry. So the material will be very, very, uh, uh, very, very worthy to be frank, okay? Clear. So any other questions do you have to ask? No. So the dynamo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, please. I have a very uh, futuristic question, I would say. Hmm. Since the automation tools and everything, these are coming in the market. Do you, deal after, do you think after five to 10 years, the modelers job would be in danger? Because you, are you can saying, even, why you are because you like can, five to ten years it's going to be gone in next one or two years itself seriously i'm telling you this is the right time to save your like positions i'm not scaring you i have seen this in a you know when we sent any candidates to a company as a it's supposed to be a bim model i mean a bim developer actually two or three persons supposed to be hired in that place i've seen if there is no requirement which is happening, I mean, when it comes to, uh, like, we'll keep on visiting the client's place and we'll keep on asking them. So I just want to sit with your team and I want, I need some sort of a questions to be answered. Uh, when we, uh, when we take a personal meeting for like one hour, I'll ask them what you're doing in a daily routine. So they are giving me some sort of a tasks. So to the business owner, to the company owner, we will, we'll throw a question. What if we could automate all this process? 
in a with the in the tons of like a scripts or whatever for example in every company if you keep on noticing it from the day one till the day end you leave the company you will be keep on playing with maximum 10 to 15 uh, tasks isn't it if you could automate yeah. this entire stuff the if you could able to automate the that 15 steps you will be sitting at where easily you know I, I, i'm a very i'm a very tricky guy not tricky in the sense not in a negative way so i used to waste uh, like my company's time uh, because you know when a, a coordinator or when a manager comes to me and ask me for uh, rajesh i need this design so i said like it it will take 4 hours i know it can be done in a 4 hours but i used to finish the same task within just matter of 30 to 40 minutes and for the rest of the 3 hours i used to learn in my company as i used to learn it you understand so that 3 hours is my investment so that reason i have i have instead of doing it a manual model manual modeling i have automated it what's wrong in it so it's supposed to be done in a 4 hours so i submitted the same task in the 4 hours itself so the rest even though it can be done in a it, it can be done in 4 hours i, I mean uh, i have done it in a 40 minutes i don't submit it because the investment what i have kept on my learning i have shown there i have shown there clearly so that is the result 4 hours task has been in shortlist i mean done into this 40 minutes is it clear so the rest 3 hour, i mean the rest 3 hours i used to create a script i used to create a script where the next process is going to be for example i have placed i mean the manager has given me to place the lights into every room to their ceilings exactly so i have created a script so it's it's been done completely so how long it will take it generally it will take more than uh, 3 to 4 days i have automated it and finished in just matter of one hour it's clear so the rest of the things what he is going to give me every in every room uh, eight to whatever the lights we have those has to be connected to a different circuit so the rest of the two days or three days i used to sit on it and then once i found the solution simple i did it and it takes again like a one week time to assign all this stuff then assign those to the panel so what is this i mean for the next step you've been sitting into it you are investing and imp like implementing and saving your time so if you have the same task on the another projects customize it accordingly customize your, according to your uh, your company needs and change it do you understand what i'm trying to say so if there is a kind if there is a kind of tricky guys in your company seriously you know they they'll be somewhere in a very very uh, in a very very less time seriously okay so they i have seen many companies they are stop hiring the modelers uh, hiring the models because of they have an automation people in their team do you understand we lost a business because of that we, we used to send a revit people but not now because they are asking for a uh, money i'll show you in, in the training part uh, in the day one training itself i can show you like uh, what are the companies have been placed so far how many people i have sent so far like i'm going to give you the proof of it so how much it was their actual salary and how much they are getting now so is it like a 10 percent 20 percent to be frank god's sake no person's salaries is less than 40 percent i mean hike not less than 40 percent hike seriously i'm telling you i'm not sending the people for 10 percent or 15 percent hikes if you are interested to get into the automation for the same salary hike i'll stop you seriously okay don't uh i don't encourage it all because you are worthy of it you are really worthy of it you are not saving a time for like one minute or like a 10 minutes or one hour or one day you are going to save a company's time on the projects like uh and almost all the projects you understand if you handle a, if you create a script the companies will not leave you will not leave you for sure because you are the only person who can able to uh, customize it and do it according based on the client requirement do you understand for that sake they will not leave you and your salary is it's not exactly like a 10 to 15 percent like you will be into the it industry so your salary would be somewhere else serious or something else I, it's not exactly like i asked i asked this because you know it's my experience in germany that so many companies by themselves are developing such tools or add-ins in revit with mm. which you can you know just make a lighting calculation select a mm. room or a space 
give mm. the category what it is corridor maybe meeting room or something and the tool does itself yeah you don't even have to place the lights the tool places the lights for you directly in revit you don't have to jump into dialux relux or something like this so this is coming for sure and in future i feel that there would be no necessity of modelers because the engineers itself can put all these things into revit that's the exactly. reason i asked this question do you see the do you see this uh what is this add in in the in, on the screen so it is asking to select the cat file so when i select the cat file it is asking me to select the layer i'll select the light layers where there is a light layer so when i select the light layer it will ask me which what is the family type you want me to place it so i said like plain resist lighting fixture or whatever it is when i select that and on this blocks information and in the cat file wherever there is a location so it will create the fixtures and it will directly stick to the ceilings itself so this yeah. script has been developed with the help of a dynamo and everything so you can do this kind of stuff if you i mean why they need to hire an electrical person and why it has to be is that for example if i want to place a, a diffusers or else i want to place a, a heat detectors or a smoke detectors it will be very easy to handle from the add in you know if automation add in can do it why they have to take a person so they know the project it it can be it's a very small project uh, and they don't have a team the additional person to handle that so they can't give a, a, the same project to someone because he's he's already busy do you understand they don't want to hire a person on a permanent basis and no person will go and join for like a 3 months contract or 6 months contract is it instead of that they are they are they are just going with a uh, automation process do you understand if you have a automation processor if the company gives you like 10 projects or 15 projects we can you see you can very easy to handle it true or not clear they are not asking you to do yeah. and sit and do in the mod uh, it's the, the doing in the traditional method you, are, you they are providing the automation solutions so you are implementing the same automation solutions in your projects so instead of a 10 days it's going to be finished in 10 minutes so simple so not like 10 years within very very less time all the models are going to be fed out that is for sure okay of course don't rely completely on the automation still something you know it's not that it doesn't have a human mind in it correct it's just following your instructions even though they it the, the the some sort of a process has been done you have to refine the work again you understand you have to refine it so that refine needs a lot of stuff again okay so the they needs a modeler again okay so instead of working from the scratch so there will be like one hour or two hours task for the modelers over it okay fine so that's what so the dynamo is acting like a mediator between a lot of applications it's not handling i mean if you have a, a rivet it can extract that into the excel information you have some data in the navis works so how that element ids will be extracted into the uh, like excel and that excel will be used into the rivet so if you have a sketchup model how you will use this use that a geometrical object to convert that into the uh, rivet elements so it's acting like a mediator between a lot of applications and what else you can perform with here you can create different kind of architectural projects structural projects within very very less time so generally creating this kind of a complex buildings in rivet it is a somehow challenging but with the help of dynamo you can do all the stuff fusion families like this is a complete like a family editor so you can design this kind of a families and you can load into it you can customize those with the help of the dynamo again that's in the fusion okay or this fusion 360 and cat to 3d drafting so i i'm just having the lines which are coming which are came from like uh, uh the 3d i mean the 2d lines so when i execute this see exactly what i can see that these are elements now these are elements now so the same cad lines we converted into the 3d lines okay for this you know there is a lot of python scripting required there need to be uh, you you supposed to write a lot of logics for this okay fine auto routing for architects so this kind of a stuff see how easy the routing is
ఇట్స్ వెరీ ఈజీ ఓకే బిల్డర్స్ వర్క్ వాల్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ క్రియేటింగ్ ద వాల్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ అ క్లాషెస్ సో ఏమో రన్ దస్ so created the wall openings based on the client requirement if there is any change happened in the opening it they will automatically adjust by themselves if there is any change in the duct again it will adjust the openings by itself placing the elements based on the cat document i have seen this i have shown you this yesterday same thing based on exactly like a cat document so we just implemented the same uh, logic with uh, into the add in sun analysis you can do for the you can do some sort of an analysis these are all add-ins you are saying sun analysis and this one no, this, is a, this is a script these all are dynamo scripts yeah. these all are dynamo oh, okay. scripts they are not an add-ins okay so hey after sun analysis heat load calculations okay drafting sheet creations for everyone automatic tagging for everyone you can do what not whatever you whatever you doing in your daily routine you can automate everything dear okay so it's not i am not saying exactly you can do this you can't do this you can automate everything okay so if you are a manager or a client you know if you are handling like a lot of uh, documents so that can be help this dynamo can help you out to create some sort of a business intelligence reports i hope you are aware of uh, this power bi how it creates a this kind of a you know instead of boring excel documents okay so you can create something for example in a team in your team let's you have a uh, let's say you have a, a like f- five modulars one architecture model and structure modular and mep3 modulars are there okay so you want to monitor what they are doing exactly in the morning 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning 9 to 10 o'clock okay you you write a script which monitors Uh, the architectural elements the structural elements the mep elements so you will monitor at 9 to 10 o'clock a person let's say savita okay let's say savita has placed like around 100 elements in the 10 to 11 o'clock there are 110 elements it's been it means she hasn't worked uh, like exactly she did she didn't give the complete production in the second hour itself so where she where the manager can coordinate everything so there's there, there's supposed to be an excel document which is which supposed to link with the power bi x i mean power bi application clear so it will be exactly like same thing like structural uh, elements like mechanical elements electrical elements and plumbing elements everything will be exported into an excel that excel will be connected to one power bi application and that will give you these kind of a very beautiful presentations is it clear so if you are into the call if you are a coordinator or if you are a manager or if you are in in a position where you are submitting some sort of documents you playing with a uh, these kind of a stuff then power bi is a very very re- it's a required tool you to learn okay so the dynamo will help you in all the design stages not only uh, l word 300 documents not only it will you will be able to play with the elements if you don't have a design you can help i mean you can use this dynamo when the pre design stage as well so in lod 200 300 400 500 everywhere okay so dynamo player is nothing but the people if you created sort of a scripts so you don't want to uh, like the the scripts to be disturbed by anyone else then you will be uh, giving some additional instructions to it and make them secure so the person who is playing with your script playing with your scripts they will be using the dynamo player and execute the stuff simple so this is how it looks like so in one line i mean if you wish i mean if you learn this dynamo you'll be able to save a lot of time not only exactly a time compared to those you know errors there will no be any human errors at all okay why because it is doing exactly what you have uh, given the instructions to it so then there will be no typo errors it will be more efficient than a human because you know at the time of doing something like renaming something your your girlfriend called you and irritating you so instead of giving instead of assign this different name you know you'll, you'll assign the same name to 10 15 elements so that that leads to be again a human errors okay so there won't be that kind of a, a problems okay more it will be more faster than uh, the humans okay like us so save money it's not for you it's for the company that's for the company okay 
Clear? So you are going uh, to learn. Yes. Yeah. The my question is uh, like uh, when when I was working on a project, I have created some of the families and some of the title blocks uh, to use shall be used by everyone. Hmm. But what was happening, you know, uh, like while some people were loading it, uh, unknowingly they are just changing something, uh, and they are uh, like instead of uh, loading the same thing into their model, they are saving the actual file. Uh, hmm. the, those changes they were saving in into the actual files. So, hmm. uh, can we avoid this kind of thing? Like if we keep uh, on the server one file. And that shall be only used, and that should not be uh, edited or done anything like a Revit family. I'm saying you can do the manual also. See, I'll tell you one thing. Huh? So, where the automation can be implemented, implement or I mean, use over there. So, these kind of a tasks doesn't need any automation. If you apply some common sense, it can be logged as well. Is it so for these kind of stuff? There is a one solution like you will be like pinning like some sort of a stuff in your elements though will not be edited by anyone else if something went wrong you know you can easily identify by using like your uh, dynamo stuff how it is for example if i want to play with a let's say let me control c control v so i got stuff so i am playing with a title box so i want to play with the title block so i'm getting like i'm having like a 1 2 3 4 there are how many? There are seven kind of a title blocks we have. So if I want to see the parameters of it, so I'm having an element, element dot parameters. Element dot parameters. When I connect this to this, I can see the parameters of it. So here it is saying approved by ABC. So the next one it is saying approved by ABC. And if I wish to see that, alias let's dot transpose to see if there are any changes happened in this entire uh, title blocks, you, you can't see where there is a change in it. See here it is ABC, ABC, ABC. Instead of something, it is something else. So you noticed it. Do you understand? So you okay. will be taking this uh, value out. I mean, you can check where there is an approver. So this is a fourth index, fifth index, sixth index. So four, five, six, there is a problem. So here everything is clear. So checker, again, there is a problem. So instead of ABC, it is approver there. And here it's a checker. So you can do all this stuff. Here it is. It's supposed to be eight but which is showing it's like a nine so here the i mean you want to change this date time stamp from i mean like to all the dates to the three six eight so this is okay this is okay this is not okay you want to change this this is not okay you want to change this this is again you want to change this so this is how you can filter the elements out and play with those elements and set everything as you want simple you know so I don't want you to sit and I mm -hmm. mean, if you have a very huge model for each, I mean, you have a hundreds of sheets, like thousands of sheets in your model. And I don't ask you to, I mean, if you, if you open one sheet, you know, it will take sometimes one minute, it will take five minutes also. True. So you can't zoom in. Yeah. If you, if you are using very low animation in your office, if you zoom in there, no, it will take one minute. Sometimes it will stuck also. So to avoid all this, the Dynamo will help you to automate all this stuff in just matter of like, if you created a script, you know, you don't need to recreate the script again and again and again. You understand? Okay. So you will be, mm. you will be using the same script. So just create a copy of the existing one and you will be customizing this. Is it clear? So okay, how okay. to do all this stuff? I'm going to explain you during the training. Don't worry. Clear? And don't get that panic, you know, everything can be automated very easily. Even though I said you can only able to play with the 60% of tasks in our training, whatever you've been asked, I'd never say no out of in within that 40%. I'll explain you like the way it can be done. Every tasks, the things which you can't do within that 40%. Uh, trust me, you will not even go into those kind of a concepts as well. Seriously. So you can consider you will you will you can automate most of the stuff in the uh, within like one or two months seriously okay so learn it guys seriously I I want every in my uh, my uh, dream is only one thing in every company my students should be there 
let's say uh, you know the tagore movie okay so at every company my uh, students would be there and they been placed should be from bimmer only clear and we are a hiring partner huh? you are not going to work for as a on any contract basis on bimmer huh? i'm just help i mean we are acting like a hiring partner for most of the companies okay there are there are small companies the big companies as well okay clear so do you have any questions to ask we have a five minutes we have five minutes sir uh, so, like just now if you have any question just give me a moment to, uh, Muhammad, give, make Muhammad, Muhammad. just give me a minute just give me let me finish something so this training i mean if if anyone who haven't uh, attended yesterday session for them again i'm telling you the same uh, i'm just giving you something information it's like the training is going to be every day 8:30 to 10:30 in uh, evening not in the morning 8:30 to 10:30 for the first 15 minutes if there is any delay in joining nothing to worry the first 15 minutes would be the questionary part and and if you haven't like attended the previous session you can join on the next day with your questions uh, like i will be giving i will be sending you the recorded videos in your uh, like portal within just matter of 2 to 3 hours so you can watch it whenever you want okay so if you have any questions join 10 minutes before or uh, whenever you can ask in the second day training program okay so the first 15 minutes the last 15 minutes it's your time in between the one and a half hour it's my time so i will be harassing you in that one or 30 minutes so you can harass me like in you can take your revenge in that 30 minutes okay fine so this is completely after your office hours and uh, uh, the thing is every day we have a different different kind of a concepts so if you miss two days con i mean two days continuous concepts doesn't mean if you don't able to if you're not able to understand the third day concept i'm not i, I haven't designed the uh, uh, training like that i have not designed like that okay so if you missed the two day sessions you can happily understand the third day session for those two day sessions you can go with the recorded videos and play play with it okay so i'm not uh, breaking any concepts so out in one one concept to be explained 30% today and 30% some other day it's not like that so i'm not uh, i'm very very well organized right now uh, i have taken a, sp a special training from it like how to design the courses as well how to design the course how to explain this i have taken a special training uh, from a different team and i have and uh, well exactly schedule the training as it is okay so completely don't uh, you know you can happily attend even though you don't have a, you don't attend the sessions like on the third day fourth day as well and if you like not been into i mean if you are not able to join the training sessions or if you not able to attend and there were many breaks and if you couldn't able to understand you can join in the next batch again without any delays so don't you don't need to pay any single np and after 6 months i mean in the last i mean after you went out from the training and uh, you don't have a time to practice so and you don't like to go with the recorded sessions happily you can come and join after 6 months also without paying single np do you understand after one year also you can come and learn it's an unlimited learning okay at that time if i'm not the trainer uh, i can help you out with some sort of a questions but not in the weekdays in the weekends i'll sit with you for 30 minutes or one hour and i'll explain you all your queries so this is what i'm doing from most of the people they've been uh, they have attended uh, they're not able to join this trainings because of uh, they are from the different reason they'll go they'll go through with the recorded videos and they whenever they have a questions they'll come and uh, uh, they'll book a uh, they'll book a, a time from my time slot they have the calendar okay they have my calendar so they'll block the time exactly and they'll sit on in those timings for the queries okay fine the training fee i mean if you are interested text me right away because we are going to start from the training by from tomorrow or day after tomorrow uh, we need to finalize something by tomorrow most probably we don't have a session tomorrow itself and it's going to be start from fourth it mean from day after tomorrow so so uh, if you have any questions meanwhile you can i mean if you are feel shy to ask in the training part if you have any questions to ask you can directly call me on whatsapp or on my live number i think you already have my number it's 
five six seven eight nine zero. You can call me and clear your queries and take a decision. Very very great vision decision. Okay, so this training will definitely going to change your life for sure because you know uh, training a pe training a person on a coding where who hates the person who hates the coding. You know it's not that easy. So once you're done with the training, you start loving, you start falling in love with the complete coding, and it's my promise. Clear? Okay. Fine then. So uh, now, anyone have any other questions? Yeah, anyone there is any? no break. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday also we have classes. Oh yeah, yeah, good, good. So there are week. This is happening only in the weekdays. It's a five days a week. So Saturday and Sunday would be off. It means I'm not allowing you to take a break for like enjoyment. Okay, so I'll give you sort of an assignment. So you have to finish it off. Okay, if you don't finish it, then not, um, I don't scare you or nothing. I don't criticize in front of anyone. It's not, it's not like that. Okay, so I don't want you to be miss the sessions because of you haven't done the exercise files. So if you haven't do it, you ask me. So I tried it, but I couldn't do. Then I'll explain you that whenever it is whenever the script whenever the time comes yeah i'm sorry is it clear and anything else i have to explain uh that material and the certification part this certifications you know we are providing which uh, is not a piece of paper huh? it is a digital certificate so uh, for each and for each certificate we are paying almost like 3700 or something 3700 or 3900 for each certificate and it is a digital certificate guys digital certificate in the sense you know um uh, like where is my linden linden so if you i mean the how the people how the hrs look into our profiles they'll start looking they'll start searching here the person who have done the dynamo okay so let me show you how it looks like bimera academy so if I search Bimmer Academy, these are the certification. This is the certification looks like. So when I click into this Dinesh Kumar profile, they look at the certifications directly into there. It is showing it's like this guy have been done advanced dynamic design scripting from us. And he wants, if they wants to see the credential, so that will be credential, uh, which is like a purely the verified one. So they will be checking it. I mean, if they want to verify this, so it will be check the credentials and organization name. Uh, okay, this guy has been done from the Bimera Academy and there are there are copyright things and this is going to be, so this is a batch actually looks like and this is a certificate actually looks like. So when I select this, I can download this image, I can download the batch uh, and I can add it into my um, CV as well. Do you understand? So this is the way the people, uh, uh, you know, uh, the HRs look into their profiles. So what they've done the certifications and everything. Is it clear? And this is going to be complimentary for you and we are not charging for this. Okay. Is it clear everyone? Yeah, this certificate is authorized by Autodesk. Autodesk is not issuing this kind of, I mean, it is not even issuing the rivet also nowadays. No, for Navis works, for any upskilling, you know, uh, this is, you are learning a tool which is like an upskilling. So we are an um, authorized training center. So you will be getting, you will be getting from Bimmer Academy, not from the Autodesk. Clear? Because they are not issuing it. Okay. If they started releasing the Autodesk Dynamo certificates, you know, instead of buying this 3,900, you will directly buy the uh, Autodesk certificates and it will issue to you. You understand? Is it clear? So in, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, clear. the certificates are very cheaper than what we are paying it for now. Okay. So that's fine. So any other questions you have? Any other questions from 4th February, the, the real training is going to be start. From the 7th February, you are going to play with your own scripts and it's my promise. 4th, 5th, 6th, from 7th onwards, you have started playing with some sort of a uh, scripts directly. Okay, clear? Yeah. So anyone have any questions still? Yeah, or Rajesh. Yeah, Mohan. Yeah, Krishna, Actually, sorry. in the uh, Revit model, mm. you, you said we can create a pipe tagging and everything automatically, right? Mm, mm, mm. 
Yeah. If I create a pipe tag means, for example, in firefighting, mm. uh, it will create all the pipes, right? But mm. I don't need it for all the pipes. I need it for uh, certain pipes only to mention the sizes mm. or whatever we have because everything is typical. So mm. how come I will create a tag Filtering like that? Man. Simple logic is a filter. So there is an answer in your question itself. So how to filter mm. the elements? For example, let's say pipes. Let me show you. It won't take much time to explain. Let's say I have a pipes here. Okay. Yes. So I have a pipe. I have a pipes here. So where I can see something where it's a plumbing floor plan. There is a toilet room. So if I turn it off the cross you know. Now I can see I want to see the elements which are active in a current mm. view now. So I'll ask like yes. uh, all elements of category. Let me ask something. All elements of category in a particular view. So, okay. where is that note placed? So, what I'm asking, so category here, categorize. So, the category is going to be pipe here. Correct, mm. no? So, it's going to yeah. be pipes. So, that is expecting category. I connected the category to it. Now, this expecting, okay. here, I'm going to connect an active view. Mm. Active view so when i'm into this so it's giving me are there are 64 pipes actually is it really mm -hmm. so if i select yeah. if i select all those elements and when i click on filter i can see there are pipe 64 see so i see yeah, 64 okay. pipes so out of the 64 mm -hmm. pipes i don't want to uh these are select all instance visible visible in project so there are 64 okay. So I think they are uh, almost like the same size. Now, hmm. let me do one thing. Let me play with something. So I have a pipe here. So this pipe, which is how to change this diameter to 50. Hmm. Is it clear now? Now, I don't want yeah. to, I, I want to play with. Something, let me draw a very stupid uh, example, okay. To make you understand, okay. So I okay. want to filter only this 50 diameter pipes out of this in the entire view. And I want to tag these elements. How to do that? So I'm having like a 70 elements here. So get parameter value by name. Same thing again. Parameter. Okay. So what is the parameter it is? When I select this diameter, huh? Diameter. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, no? So yeah. parameter is going to be diameter. So you have to filter it. If you're good at understanding how to filter, you know, you can mm. almost do, see, there is 100, 30 to 50. So it's a 50 over there. Okay. Yes. Now I want to filter exactly which is equal to 50, which is equal to 50. So I can see all the last elements of 50. So okay. filter by Boolean mask. So when I connect this to this, from these elements, I want to filter all. Now, the in list, these are the pipes I have at the, it's the 50 dia. With the 50 okay. dia. So I want to tag these elements. So tag dot by element and offset and location. Let's say offset. Okay. That's it. Is it clear now? So when I connect yeah, these yeah. elements to this, it will be, I can only place the tags only for this, not for this stuff. Is it clear now? Uh -huh. Simple. How long it has taken? Yeah. How long it's taken? Not even a one minute, huh? Yeah. Correct? So if you are good at filtering, you know, you can do mm. this kind of a stuff in, in just matter of a but but, but you, you for keep firefighting, on... same thing. Mm. For drainage is fine. If I make the same for firefighting means uh, it will come uh, all the pipes, right? But uh -huh. I don't need a uh, for example, adding... I have more 25 dia pipes for example for example if it is you will be assigning some sort of a system type for it isn't it mm. so you will be yeah. adding an additional condition here don't pull all the pipes so mm. if it is bringing even the firefighting pipe is also a pipe, pipe category you will be yeah. adding some additional uh, condition here for example when i say okay. it's a sanitary one so if i select mm. this it is a sanitary one sanitary one i would like to change this mm. to the sanitary so I, okay. I would like to change this to the uh, sanitary now. So this is a sanitary. So this is a sanitary. 
so not exactly system name sanitary one and sanitary two so whatever it okay. is okay so i'll get the okay. value i'll i'll filter the elements based on the system type so which is uh-huh, the right okay. keyword to filter the elements out are uh, uh-huh. i have uh, hundreds of elements so few elements were placed at 3000 few elements were placed at 2800 i don't want to play with all the elements what is your key uh-huh. point over there the elevation so you will uh-huh. be started filtering based on the elevation itself if uh-huh. you know how to do the filtration process based on that elevation uh, the data will be almost into uh-huh. it clear no yeah clear. okay hmm. that's it so how about application if we don't have a someone texted me uh in on my whatsapp who is it savita okay fine so you have this application um, uh, by default savita okay let's say just get into the manage uh it comes default visual programming okay you don't need to install anything uh is it are you there here savita i think you're not here Oh, she left and texted me on WhatsApp. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Anything? Any other questions you have? It's already ten forty, guys. Don't you leave me. This is a webinar, man. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I hope I haven't failed you both today. Hasn't it? Okay, if you have, if you are interested to. Uh, uh, Rajesh, one thing. Yeah, Santosh. Yeah, yeah, just a general question. Like, uh, I guess I have been like to Frank. I am like from two years. I am trying this Dynamo. Okay, huh. I know some in and out. Like you know, myself like from LinkedIn Learning and some from some something from the YouTube. I am just trying it. Okay, hmm. and I have earned some certificates from the LinkedIn Learning also. Hmm. But even though hmm. I am not confident that everything whichever I can imagine, I can't do that. Hmm. So that's the uh, reason I'm. <laughs> the joining and during you explained about the python you have took something uh, a word like syntax right hmm. uh, even uh, like uh, for me i am an, uh, i am totally blank in the you know, languages i don't know what is syntax also so in <laughs> in that depth basics you will be taking us right uh the python is a sec- in a level 2 training santosh don't worry okay? okay i will be explaining what is a syntax and how to write it how to understand it okay. before i send it to you before i send you to the battle you know uh, i'll okay. everything in the level 1 uh, training itself what are the things required to understand the level 2 concepts i'll teach you here in the design scripting and then i'll send you to the level 2 training don't worry clear okay okay, okay. Yeah. thank you fine good thank you so if if you are interested you know uh, then text me on whatsapp so so that i can enroll your name for the uh, this batch training okay and again i'm telling you uh, i may not be the trainer uh, if you been delay i mean uh, 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 for from the next batch okay from the march batch march and uh, april i will be busy because like my wife is a pregnant so i need to take a, a break for some time so i will not be available for the mo- month of march and uh, april so um, i will not be the trainer uh, and from april also i think someone would be the trainer uh, for the same dynamo training so that is a reason if there are few participants in this few students in this batch the management has allowed me to take all the people into this training part and uh, i will consider this as a very 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 special training because i can see a very very good amount of students in this okay grab this uh, grab this opportunity to join a training okay don't look into the commercials at all because you know if you this is like your investment so the way you invest i mean if you wish to get uh, that uh, the 10 times double then if you really wish to get it then join this training program i will get that done for sure within the span of 3 to 6 months whatever you have been invested on this training part you will be get it back because you know i i, I i'm really uh, looking for a people who are uh, interested uh, to join uh, as a bim developers uh, and who are looking into it well 100% will support them don't worry clear guys clear and who is this yeah, tmp uh... temporary someone what may know his name uh, tmp someone named with temp i just unmuted you no who is this tmp a person joined with the name of temp 
and there is a person who joined with color to name so i need i want you uh, may know your name please mr tmp i don't know who is it exactly okay fine whatever so anyone have any other questions yeah yeah the thing is you will not be available so like you are the point of contact for me actually i don't know about others hmm. so i don't know your like institute or your company where it is but hmm. like uh, if you are not available then <laughs> and uh, if i have some like when i'm developing something when 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 i'm making some something in the revit model Muhammad, if Muhammad. i'm stuck somewhere so yeah i don't i don't run with your female okay my company is in bank my company is in bank core mangala 100 feet road okay kmc arcade okay google it and uh, get the maps and come to me directly if not if it has if you are from different place you know call me on 9160567800 it's not my number it's a company number i can't skip it and we are planning to start in another branch in hyderabad as well in just 3 uh, to 6 months so you i mean if it which is a very close to you <laughs> come and sit beside me clear mohammed okay not yeah yeah no the thing is no why i'm asking you know when, when i'm stuck somewhere if i want to ask will you be available i'm asking this is my on question WhatsApp. actually on whatsapp see the people who have been learned from uh, who have learned like 2 years ago they still texting me so if they got stuck somewhere you know if they haven't done their avit api and if they got stuck somewhere so i'm i'm helping them clear Don't yeah no you, you said that you are taking break so i thought of something else okay uh, no no I, i'll i'll okay. be back for sure but it'll take some time okay okay no? yeah fine okay. thank you thank you yeah thank you any other questions anyone anand aniket binu chandru philip uh, kamalesh i just oh. have a last yes, question yes i have a question yes please tell me chandru i just uh, used revit in past 3 months only before that i have worked in 2d for past 5 years okay i don't know revit at all uh, just a basic things uh, so can i learn dynamo with uh, you for no now ch- no chandru don't i don't say suge- i mean see for admission i can say uh, you can come and join you can learn it no i don't say this kind of uh, like false things if you're not if you're out of this revit uh, and if you don't know how to do a manual like modeling strategies then it's not a right fit for you seriously don't do it okay clear yeah okay. okay thank you fine but still anyways you've been attended for two and a half hours in a in an automation thing you you are you 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 are aware of it now what is an automation do exactly okay is really past uh, yeah yeah uh, i try to dynamo scripting for past one month in my work also i almost okay. done with that but can't figure it out what the problem is that but you said you are not using so i revit. just uh, you said you are not using yeah i don't know i don't know well but i i know the basics so i i used that basic to script that dynamo script i almost completed it but uh, last step i i couldn't finish that, finish that. You... so i searched it for in Yes, sir. If you eager to learn Dynamo, you know, then don't waste your time here and there, because the time is very, very worth it than money. You understand? So okay. there are there are yes, no other, there are no resources which help you to guide you in a right direction. I will be doing it because I have faced it. I have stepped down in many cases. You know the the way I started my journey. First, I I, I when I went to a a seminar auto disk seminar i've seen this dynamo and impressed a lot and i thought at that in the 20 in the 2015 itself i st- i've seen this and uh, i realized okay this is going to be a future so then i started i, j- I joined a company when i was in a delhi uh, i paid for the c sharp training and uh, later on i realized okay c sharp is not the right uh, thing as to i supposed to go with and then learned i python so i learned the complete python and i don't able to design anything uh on a uh, revit again so i i have seen many fall downs in my career in my learning career okay so that is the reason i am i am yes, not encouraging anyone to do the same i don't want you to do the same mistakes do you understand so that is the reason i came up with a very very clear direction what it suppo- how you supposed to go with clear you know is it clear 
Yes, so, so, so first I I have to learn Revit first. Then Dynamo. Then Dynamo. Because uh, if you don't know how to do it okay. manually, how do you automate it, Chandra? Simple logic, no? Correct. Mm. Yes, uh, I am just passionate about it. Then that's why I attend this. Thank you for your guidance. Good, 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 Chandra. Good. good. Okay, so Rajesh, you. just one question about this level one and level two. Since you mentioned you will not be there, and mm -hmm. if someone like me who wants to level wants to do level two as well, so uh -huh. what do you recommend? Like how well, much months we question. should wait until we make a next level? We should practice Dynamo or something? Like how the mm -hmm. progression should be did from you, level one like to level my, two? Did you like my uh, the teaching levels? Did you yeah, like? Of course. Okay. That's the reason the way, I'm asking you. The way the person who is take who is going to take the level two, which is almost like mirror to me. Do you understand? To be to be in fact, you know, has more experience than me. Is more talented than me. He has started his career with in the automation itself. Okay, and has a he has a almost like a biggest asset for a Bimera. To be frank, okay. So we have given a chance to him. I mean, it's he is being with us when the Bimmer has started. It's been around like a, he has a two years of experience in this teaching with Bimmer itself. So, but the best recommend, you know, we we don't generally prefer any kind of a trainers. We don't give a chance to any beginners or the person who doesn't have any experience on it. So if you but do you, if you like. But do you recommend waiting for six, seven months trying this BIM out? No, 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 don't do that. For don't level do that. Two or something do that. like this. Don't do that. And one more, there is a there is a one more thing here. Uh, based on the participant count, uh, the trainer will be decided. If where there where we have a, a good amount of students, you know, so they will assign me into it because that's going to be the uh, like a. a business revenue okay the company where the revenue is coming more so they will assign if in a revit api if there are 30 candidates in dynamo we have a six candidates i'll be i'll be present over there in a revit api not in dynamo so someone will take care of this dynamo or else i'll be taking care of this dynamo and that will be also will be taking care of me do you understand okay so you first learn thank this you. yeah thank yeah. you Sankar. it's a, it's a really good question so the level two trainer is going to be a person. His name is also Kumar. So he has more, more, more expert than me. Trust me. Okay. So because it is your career, why should I spoil your career with, uh, with our decisions, with our internal decisions? No. So far, there are there were no complaints. And to be frank, uh, they were they were more happy. The Revit API, those who learned Revit API from the trainer, they are very, very happy. So far. Okay, we will we'll just work on uh, the satisfaction, not on uh, financials, not on uh, commercials, nothing. Okay, clear, Sanket? Fine. Yeah, thank so, you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, any other questions or shall we? Yeah, leave? if we decide to start, when the training session will start? From day after tomorrow. From day after, from tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow we right? have to finalize all the uh, like the people who been who been joined into this. So we have to collect their uh, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So it will start from Monday or it starts from Saturday itself. No, that we have to find the it because you know tomorrow mm -hmm. I I have to see uh, because uh, there are few guys who've been waiting for the salaries. Okay. Okay. So that is the reason they are paying late and uh, until unless they paid, we can't confirm their seat, and they are changing uh -huh. from me from the last month itself. You understand? Okay. From the last month itself, yeah. they have been. I mean, in last month we have our uh, uh, twenty six students. And 20 students mm -hmm. been enrolled into the training and six people have been waiting from last month. So now okay. they're saying like, could you please wait for some time so that once we got the salary, like we'll be paying okay. you. So for that reason, if they paid in time, no, we can we can have the session tomorrow itself. Clear? So each batch, how many of them will be there? 20 to 30 people would be there, Mohan. Maximum? Maximum, okay. 20 to 30 people. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Hmm. And one more thing, I send you one uh, snapshot in uh, WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, Mohan Krishna, right? Krishna. Yeah, I tried. I tried this tag. But that is it's possible. Like, I'll it's explain. Some, like this, uh, it's like messed up. It is. Hi, are that's what I'm telling you, man. So you hmm. have to play with the vertices. 
if you want to do this uh-huh. let, let let me explain to this everyone huh? hmm. don't get wrong let me show this what he has done with the help of automation you did this yeah yeah, yeah. i just did it hmm. in uh, dynamo good 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 so here you know what this is the problem so you will be able to get either one of this a branch if there is a pipe which is going through with the one branch you would like to play with only one or else if yes. there is a clash with the, another tag if there is a clash with another tag it has to be moved somewhere close to it where there is a clash should not be happen so to get this the dynamo can't help you out you have to go with the level 2 training why because mm-hmm. you, you can't find these kind of a scripts i mean the direct notes because you know even the people who been uh, posting their scripts uh, they don't post the main uh, scripts why because they are selling it as their market you know okay you know they, they will not publish the direct scripts uh, mm-hmm. for free of cost at all so in that case you have to sit and write clear yeah clear clear yeah even you know when if you go and check the dynamo packages the mm. uh, search for a package you can find a bimera but was last published date it is in 2020 2020 or 2021 we, do, we are not sharing anything from last two years because we are purely selling the scripts okay purely selling the scripts even though what you have been asked we have already developed the script for it but we can't present you mm. in the training we can't give okay. it to you as a contributor because we have we have sold it and there there was some sort of a corporate issues again clear uh-huh. clear okay, no okay yeah. if i yeah. if i want something means can able to buy it you can Without buy it's a, very, it's a very expensive yeah you from your company you can buy it uh, okay you can buy it from your company again not that's not a this thing clear? okay fine, fine. Yeah, yeah fine any other questions to you have yeah that's it. thank you we'll see on the class hmm so any other questions you have anyone shall we leave shall yeah, we leave we can leave okay yeah. fine thank you and uh, wish you good luck for your career and if you have a time to like learn please learn okay clear okay fine good night guys bye. thank you bye okay. thank you sir good night bye thank you good night good night good night